If you're looking to apply to an MBA program, one of the requirements might be to take the GMAT exam and submit a score. Now, more and more programs are waiving this requirement, especially if you have a good number of years of work experience. But whether you're applying to a school that does require it, or you're applying to somewhere that doesn't require it, but you wanna give yourself the best chance of getting accepted, by having a high GMAT score. Then keep watching because in this video, I'm going to share with you one of the best resources to do exactly that. And that's through an online platform called Analyst Prep. I'll review the packages that they have to offer, what all is included, the pricing, and most importantly, what it all looks like when you actually sign up and you start going through the content and using the platform. So let's get into it right now. Now for starters, Analyst Prep has actually built their reputation on creating prep content for the CFA exams. That's the Chartered Financial Analyst exams. This platform includes different study packages, video lessons, study notes, mock exams, mock quizzes, practice questions, even a 24 seven ask a tutor feature through chat or email. So just about everything you could want. And from that, they've replicated their successful format to then go on to produce more content for other exams, including the FRM exam, actuarial exam, and of course, the reason that you're here, the GMAT exam. As far as GMAT packages that they have to offer, it's fairly simple and self-explanatory. There's a learn package, which gives you access to video lessons and unlimited ask a tutor questions. There's a practice package which gives you access to practice questions, quizzes, as well as unlimited ask a tutor questions. And then there's a package that combines the two which offers the most value. This is the clear one. Obviously the pricing is made in such a way that why would you pay for just one or the other? You would just buy this package. Now to add a little bit more clarity on one of those elements, the Ask a Tutor feature, that is basically 24 seven access to a tutor, a real life person, about any of the material or content that you go through that you may have questions on. This can be done through email or through chat box and I'll show you what that feature looks like here in a little bit. But let's look under the hood and see what the platform actually looks like when you sign up and you get access. For starters, you have a really nice modern dashboard interface with a handful of bar charts. As you go through practice quizzes, you'll have your performance assessed, of course, and each question is associated with a different part of the GMAT, of which there are three for quantitative, verbal, and integrated reasoning. There are also subcategories for each, which you'll see charts for as well. You'll be assessed a percentage score based on what you got right versus total number of questions. And you'll have your own blue bar appear next to the existing bar. I guess that's what, a navy or some color? I'm a little bit colorblind when it comes to different shades of certain colors. Nonetheless, this bar is the average score of analyst prep users. So you'll have a nice benchmark to shoot for if that's something that motivates you. Over time, as you complete more quizzes, you can compare your performance as well by filtering and selecting dates during which you completed quizzes. So you can compare one period of time versus another period of time in the future, presumably or hopefully you would have gotten better. Near the bottom, you'll have sections of saved items and reports that you can come back to. This is what you might save in the course of your learnings, practice questions, or quizzes so that you can revisit them later. And lastly, you've got a chat box on the bottom right where if you have any questions about the material, you can ask it here and get a response from a real human being. So this is, this to me is one of the coolest features that you actually get to talk to someone and have that interaction if any questions do come up because a lot of, a lot of content out there is simply completely learn on your own. It's kind of like reading a book. You don't get to ask anybody questions. And when I used it, I got a response fairly quickly within about a few minutes. So it's extremely helpful and efficient and you can go back and forth and get more clarity on some of these questions. This chat box will always be here. You can minimize it. So you have quick access to it at any point in time. So enough about the dashboard. Let's go to the left hand side where we've got a handful of places we can go to starting with video lessons. You've got about 46 videos covering all parts of the GMAT and their subcategories, in addition to a general overview of how GMAT is structured and how you can best prep for it, which obviously 
you're in a good place to prep for it. So <laughs> there's that. When selecting a video, you of course get to the video itself, but you also have a few options. You can save the video for later review. You can quickly access the question bank for the topic, which I'll showcase in a moment. You can also report the content for possible inaccuracies or corrections if in the rare event you come across something. You can also download the PDF of the slides that are shared in the video, which is helpful if you need a quick offline reference without the video. Now let's head over to the question bank. This is structured so that you can access specific subcategories of topics and get really hands-on with how the questions are presented and you get instant feedback. Whether you get it right or wrong, it gives you the right answer along with a detailed explanation. Now, as a side note, here's a cool thing about analyst prep. If you remember the Ask a Tutor feature, what actually ends up happening is anytime a user asks a question about the material or potentially about the explanation of an answer to a question, the tutors, of course, help you out and help explain that. But what they then do after the fact is they take some of those questions and they submit it for a review because that then goes into improving the explanation for those questions. So the platform is constantly improving the questions, the answers, and the explanations for the answers so that in the future, you and any other user can better self-serve. Now, like in the videos, you can also save this content for later with this bookmark feature. So let's now go to the quizzes. This is a relatively quick and convenient way to get some practice without committing yourself to a full length practice exam. But you can custom create a quiz around a handful of parameters, select which part of the GMAT you wanna focus on, select the length, either six or 12 questions. You can also filter questions in a few different ways in how it prioritizes. So you can choose it to where it prioritizes previously non-attempted questions. So basically new questions or questions you've answered incorrectly in the past, it will prioritize those to present to you. Once you hit create new quiz, you'll get a prompt here with some details. Then the quiz generates a handful of questions for you to go through. And as you're doing the quiz, you'll also get instant feedback whether you've answered a question correctly along with an explanation. Once you finish, you can wrap up and get a summary of your score. And from that, you'll have completed a quiz from which the platform can pull data and present to you back on the dashboard that we saw earlier in terms of how you performed in certain areas and compared to the average for analyst prep users. Over time, you'll learn a little bit more about what parts of the GMAT you may want to dedicate a little bit more time to to get more comfortable. But nonetheless, across everything that's presented here, you should be pretty comfortable with the way that the GMAT questions are formatted, the way the answers are presented. Overall, you should be in a much better place. Now, one thing to note is that the GMAT exam is always evolving a little bit here and there with regards to how the questions are structured, how the answers are presented, but the core of it usually stays the same. The benefit of analyst prep is that you get 12 months of access, during which time the platform is constantly evolving based on the questions that it gets through Ask a Tutor, as I mentioned earlier, and also based on any changes that might happen with the GMAT exam itself. So you can be fairly assured that you are getting the latest and greatest when it comes to prep content for the GMAT. Now, of course, once you take the exam, you get the score, you're then gonna use that score to go apply to various MBA programs. So make sure to check out my other videos on how to go about selecting the right MBA program for you, as well as some MBA programs you might want to consider.